Mark's Jake 8 here with a brand new album review. Today we're going to be reviewing Memphis May Fire's fourth studio album, Unconditional. This album was weird for me. Part of me really enjoyed it, and another part was rather put off by it. Un almost uncomfortable at times. It was by far one of the hardest reviews I have ever done, and I had to do quite a bit of research in order to really grasp why I didn't enjoy certain parts of this album. But, let's get into it. Much like its predecessor, Challenger, this new album has a ton of good songs on it. In fact, almost all the songs have a good, strong structure behind them. No Ordinary Love and Sleepless Nights are by far the strongest songs on the album. The Rose, Need to Be, and Speechless are all, are all strong songs with some damn good emotional value behind them. And I want to emphasize the fact that I really did enjoy this album for the, for the most part. As much as I love the songs, it's the lyrics I feel that are what holds it back from being a truly great album. The lyrics are weaker than they have been on previous albums. Beneath the Skin feels generic and almost forced, and it greatly segregates genders too. So girl fans will most likely be getting mo more value from this song than say I would or other guys would. Lyrically, it feels like they took the two best concepts from Challenger, Anger and Love, and made an album revolving around that, while adding one new concept, Religion. Religion plays a big role on this album, with a bunch of songs being based around it. While that's not a, at all a problem, it was just something that was rather unexpected, to say the least, seeing as Memphis May Fire has never done anything like that before on previous albums. And it sometimes does come across as a little bit preachy, but I'm not going to complain about that. My biggest problem with the album, however, and one that made this review so difficult, is the song Pharisees. This is by far my least favorite song on the album, and by Memphis May Fire altogether. Hell, I get uncomfortable just listening to it. Now, to really understand why I don't like the song, you need to understand what a Pharisees is. Pharisees, as they're portrayed in the song, are based off people back in the days of Jesus, who followed the original commandments and man-made rules strictly, but also used them to scorn and condemn sinners, whereas Jesus was more concerned with seeking out the sinners and preaching God's love to them. Now, the reason this song bothers me so much is because it's completely hypocritical. There's a line that goes, The next time you feel the right to preach about commandments that you know you do not keep, that line alone sums up everything that's wrong with the song. First off, seeing as this is a sudden outburst of religion in any of the Memphis May Fire albums, who the hell are you to be preaching about how others preach? That's called self-righteousness, something you are preaching against in your own song. Secondly, it condemns people for not following the commandments. The same people who condemn others for not following the commandments. You starting to see the uh, hypocritical side of this? And it's making Memphis May Fire look no better than the Pharisees themselves. And lastly, is that Memphis May Fire has ridiculed others who they have deemed lower than themselves. All one has to look, do is look back at Challengers at the song Jezebel, uh, another one of my least favorite songs. Condemning someone for what they don't feel is socially acceptable, which is exactly what the people they're, uh, they're preaching against in their song do. That's pretty much why I don't like this song. I mean, it's, it's very hypocritical if you look at what a Pharisee is in the Bible. But let's get into the positives and negatives. Positives, a good variety of songs, great emotional strength, strong, songs are strong and memorable in some cases, good motivational songs, and anger and love concepts are really strong. Negatives, some weak lyrics, Beneath the Skin just feels forced, a bit preachy about religion, but as I said before, I'm not really going to complain about that, and Pharisees is just completely hypocritical. When I first went into this album, I thought it was going to be hard not to bring up the missing artwork from physical copies, but that quickly became irrelevant seeing the depth that this album went to. Strong songs and pow with powerful emotions would have made this one of the best Memphis May Fire albums ever released, but sadly just one song pulled that away from the light for me. Pharisees is a song that contradicts everything that it stands for, and I think it tries to be another prove me right, but in the end just does everything wrong. So, for my final score for Memphis May Fires Unconditional, I give it a 6 out of 10. Better luck next time, guys. But, if you guys feel the same, feel differently, please leave a comment below telling me your opinions and whatnot. But, stay tuned for the next episode, and stay frosty, guys. See ya.